Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and little Dennis is with us for the intro but as I keep saying he won't be in the video because this one here was recorded, the video that's coming up was recorded in June 2019 when little Dennis didn't exist but this is of one of my pencil drawings, Miranda Kerr, <laughs> she's cool she is but the reason I've come in to do the intro is because the video that I I show on the um during the video the the website that I show during the video is the old website so I just thought I'd clear that up a little bit but I hope you enjoy this one hello you right <laughs> hello this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com <laughs> hello Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is a little video of one of my pencil drawings and this one is Miranda Kerr. What I thought I'd do with this one is compare this one to one I did before which I did a little video of earlier. So this one was from 2013 and this one was 2014. Well, I think that the main difference for me is the darkness. Basically, during that year, I started to push myself to go darker. But, like, look at the difference between the hair just because you've gone darker. Because you've gone darker, you've done more layers, which means the hair just looks more fuller. And I think realistic, whereas over there, it looks very thin. So I just thought, I thought that would be quite fascinating to look at that. But this one was one of the first ones I did with a grid. I had like little, what it is, is Lee Hammond in her book, Drawing Lifelike Portraits from Photographs. She talks about this grid thing, so basically you put like little squares. And you, what I do is, I do my line drawing with the grid. And then the rest of it I do freehand. But doing the first bit with the grid, it's like you're making sure, or not making sure, you're helping improve the chances of having the proportions right. But I still like to render it without a grid because I think I think if you've got a grid and you're rendering, I, just, I imagine that would be weird because <laughs> you would be separating everything. Whereas when you're rendering... I want everything to be together, so I like to look at the whole thing like as one as one thing, which is a, a I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but what I liked about this one was actually I liked the background. I did this thing with the background where I made it all out of focus, which I think helps pop her forward. And I've never really done that before. But her eyes, she is a She's got amazing eyes and the lips, shiny lips again. I like her shiny lips. I do like her hair on this one. Quite nice. What's really funny about this, I remember, I remember drawing all this and doing the shapes and stuff and it was only when I finished doing it I realised what I was drawing. I know it sounds weird but I didn't sort of realise I was drawing a shoulder which is a I don't know if I explained that. <laughs> it was a really strange feeling. It was like oh I've just drawn a shoulder here but I didn't realise I was drawing a shoulder. Very strange. But on the website I'll put a link in the description. She is actually also one of my inspirational models. So if you click that little button, it will take you to a page of her images. I'll talk about her as well, because I just think she's like one of my, well, she's one of my inspirational models. I love her. I've drawn her three times now. She's the most I've ever drawn anyone. Second is Amy Thunderbolt, a cosplayer who I've drawn twice, I think. A little quote from Miranda Kerr. I love this. I believe in celebrating the female figure 
and embracing what we've been given, not hiding that. This was quite important to me at the time because I was going through, this was when I was going through the bit of transitioning into Sophie and still hiding it from my website. So this was quite an important quote really, making me realise you don't hide, embrace what you are. These little work in progress images, I quite like that actually. Oh, that's quite cool. Do the work on the trifecta, the eyes, nose and mouth. Again, I love the drawings without any hair. Something weird about that, like in a nice way. I wonder if you could leave it like that. <laughs> Funny. And then that's the last one. left that to the end so I didn't smudge it. Yeah, I really had fun doing that background. No, normally, I don't normally do backgrounds. I normally just keep the backgrounds white. This is the first time I thought I'm going to do a background. I think I probably did it because I needed to, because that was light on dark. So I just thought, well, let's do it. I tried it. What I did here was I got some dirty little tortillions, these things, and basically I just went in like a circular motion like that, did that for a while, quite a half an hour or something, it creates this little like blurry effect, like it out of focus. That's basically that there, that's Miranda Kerr. The next one is my otter drawing. So that's coming up next. Hope you enjoyed that. See you for another one in a minute.